A major thoroughfare in Richland is getting some much needed safety upgrades after averaging nearly 100 crashes per year in the last five years. And speaking of safety, coming up we'll give you a few ways to make sure your house is protected from fires over the holiday season. And this morning we have more fog and now stagnant air in some of our areas. I'll get you prepared for your weekend in my first alert weather forecast. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good morning, Northwest. On your side. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Riley Fitzgerald. And I'm Jason Valentine. Welcome to the Friday. weekend. <laughs> yes, it is Friday morning. And uh, for some kids, this is, uh, this is it for 2023 <laughs> school. So that's exciting. Oh, I was such a happy kid when this oh, yeah. was going on. <laughs> Even in college, because it was nice. I was in Seattle. You were in mm -hmm. Pullman, so you had a little bit of a drive, right? Oh, yeah. So yeah, yes. <laughs> so a little bit of a drive for me over to Spokane and uh, just able to spend the time with family. And that's what this season is all about. Yes, it is. <laughs> all right, let's take a look outside and good morning, Riley. Good, good morning, morning, everyone. And we have similar conditions to what we've been seeing. We have patchy fog in areas. We have thick fog in Pendleton. 40% visibility in Hermiston, 50 in Walla Walla, 80% in Yakima. Also for Yakima and Ellensburg, we have an air stagnation advisory that is good until noon. So not the best air quality is on the way. So for the Yakima region, we have some sunshine today. We're high, our highs are going to be in the lower 40s. So do expect to see around similar temperatures, maybe upper 30s for the Tri-Cities. Some sunshine today. And again, fog is going to be devil walla walla. We're going to continue to see fog into the weekend. We're going to continue to see that air stagnation uh, continue. So we do expect to see again pretty OK conditions today and tomorrow once this uh, fog lifts. So air stagnation, a problem, some sunshine today and more fog likely this weekend. All of your first alert forecast. Let me get you ready for your weekend. That's in about 10 minutes. Major changes are on the way for a busy stretch of Richland's downtown corridor. Senator Maria Cantwell's office announced Richland is getting over $11 million earmarked for safety improvements on George Washington Way and Jadwin Avenue. Apple Valley News Now spoke with Public Works Director Pete Rogalski about how the Department of Transportation grant came about. We hired an expert to look at all the, our crash records in our city and find patterns and trends. This area of town is a busy area for traffic, a busy, a busy area for uh, walking and, and bicycling and all those things. Uh, and we have a, basically a lot of legacy type systems, so we're looking to update them. $11 million is only about half of what the city needs to finish the desired safety upgrades. This grant comes after there's been over 500 crashes along this corridor within the last five years, resulting in four deaths and over 150 injuries. Now safety upgrades are on the way to try to make both George Washington Way and Jadwin Avenue safer for drivers, bicyclists and pedestrians. The plan is to make a pretty dramatic change to the road system downtown and to turn Jadwin and George Washington Way into one-way streets between Jadwin at the south end and Simons at the north end, and then add on-street protected bicycle facilities, widened sidewalks, uh, signalize both traffic and bicycle movements, and then add a package of enhanced or protected pedestrian crossings of the street, so special signals to help pedestrians cross. All in all, the full price tag is looking to be around $20 million, so the city is still pursuing other grants in order to make the changes happen. Later on Good Morning Northwest, we'll give you a look at the timeline the city is looking for. 15 months and $13 million later, construction on the Yakima Nation Multipurpose Justice Center is finally complete. Federal, state, tribal, county, city, and community leaders attended yesterday's ribbon cutting at the Yakima Nation Multipurpose Justice Center. According to Yakima Tribal Council members, they desperately needed to replace outdated and inefficient facilities. The new facility is made up of three additional areas built onto the existing jail, a brand new police station, justice services administration, and courthouse. We have additional um, office space for our clerks. Um, we have additional space for public safety. Um, we have additional space for the JSA to Justice Service Administrator. 
Later on Good Morning Northwest, we'll give you a sneak peek at the new facilities and what this means for the Yakima Nation. Well, it's called the most wonderful time of the year, but with the cold temperatures and the introduction of potentially flammable materials in the house, it can also lead to an increased risk of house fires. So how can you keep your home safe? Well, if you're a fan of the real Christmas tree, uh, the real tree at Christmas, you'll want to make sure the tree you choose is a healthy one. To find out if your tree is healthy, try shaking it, and if you see a bunch of needles fall, you should avoid it. Once your tree is chosen, make sure to keep it properly watered and cared for in order to keep it healthy through the holiday. Finally, make sure any items you choose to adorn your tree are safe, especially the Christmas lights. They are rated for indoor use and or outdoor use, so check the label. You don't want to put the wrong thing in the wrong place. So. Usually it comes down to how much heat's given off by the cord or by the light itself. So indoor ones have very little or no heat at all being given off. Um, the outdoor ones, they allow them to give off more heat because it's going to be, you know, some place to get to deal with it. But the outdoor ones are also sealed tight for water where the indoor ones may not be. So make sure you're using the proper decorations in the proper place. The Pasco Fire Department's Ben Shearer says you want to keep your tree at least three feet away from any heating source. He also recommends not leaving any lit candles unattended. And later on Good Morning Northwest, we take a look at a few more things to keep your home fire safe this holiday season. The firms that will head up the design and construction of Pasco's new aquatic center have been announced. According to the Pasco Public Facilities District, Bowton Construction of Richland and NAC Architecture of Spokane will design and build the center. A two-tenths of a 1% sales and use tax was approved by voters back in 2022 to fund construction and operation of the facility. With the firm's selection, the project now moves to public input and eventually the design phase. The Pasco Public Facilities District says it will reach out to the public soon for input on the project. We'll return in just a moment, but first, Jason Valentine joins us live now for another quick look at the weather. Uh, it's Friday morning, everyone. We've made it to the weekend. Fog in the usual, well, places. We also have air stagnation that is going to extend into the weekend. Let me get you ready for your Friday and your weekend. My first alert weather forecast coming right up. Actress Kate Micucci received a surprise lung cancer diagnosis, despite the fact she never smoked a cigarette in her life. We took a look at just how common lung cancer is for non-smokers. That's next on Good Morning Northwest. Save big this Christmas with Bymart's latest membership savings book, posted at Bymart.com. There's 20 pages of great store-wide savings, including everything you need for the holidays. At Bymart, our members save more every day. A successful real estate transaction requires a team of professionals. At Windermere, our team consists of experienced realtors to guide you through the process. With Windermere on your side, and end confidence in your real estate journey. Before the tree was trimmed. Before the stockings were hung. Before the meals were prepared. And yes, even before Thanksgiving. Before the carols, bells, and lights all aglow, it was already home. At McCurley, we know it's the people, traditions, and memories that make this season bright. And that's why we're here. Because a vehicle is more than just a vehicle. It's also one of the ways you bring the holidays home. Find your way home in a new, used, or certified pre-owned vehicle from McCurley Chevrolet. The holidays are here, and Honey Baked Ham has exactly what your holiday gathering needs. Whole turkeys fully cooked and perfectly seasoned, just heat and serve. Turkey breasts, deliciously smoked or oven roasted. Or our famous slow-cooked spiral-cut hams, hand-glazed and caramelized to perfection. Complete your feast with one of our incredible sides and delicious desserts. So many choices! Honey Baked Ham on Columbia Center Boulevard in the Planet Fitness Shopping Center. Or call 509-579-5855. Put Honey Baked Ham on your table this year. 
Ben Franklin Transit is hiring safety-oriented coach operators. Become a crucial part of the Tri-Cities community and provide a vital service to our riders. Get out from behind a desk and experience a workday that keeps you moving. Enjoy CDL training, comprehensive benefits, and generous paid time off. When you're driving for Ben Franklin Transit, you're part of a growing team of community-oriented professionals. Apply now to join the Ben Franklin Transit team. Roundups, like an accidental savings account. I get paid every time I buy something. It's like a tip for me. Wait, a tip for shopping? Oh yeah. But how much can you really save? Yeah, I mean... Whoa. Oh. <laughs> yeah, shopping's my superpower. <laughs> Operation Best Friend on Good Morning Northwest, sponsored by Windermere Group One. Welcome back on this Friday morning. Well, research shows lung cancer cases have risen among women in recent years, even those who never smoked. Mandy Gaither has more on how common it is for non-smokers to be diagnosed with lung cancer and what puts a person at risk beyond smoking. It's long been known that those who smoke now or in the past are at higher risk for lung cancer, but people who don't smoke can be diagnosed with it too. Well, upwards of 20%, especially of women who get lung cancer are never smokers. The American Cancer Society says exposure to secondhand smoke, pollution, family history, and other factors can contribute to lung cancer diagnosis, but there's not always a clear culprit, says Dr. James Finnegan with National Jewish Health. Most of the people we see who have, uh, who are non-smokers who get lung cancer don't have a documented other cause. According to the nonprofit Women's Health Access Matters, lung cancer cases among women have skyrocketed 84% over the past 42 years while dropping among men. The organization says non-smoking women are more than two times likely to get lung cancer than men who don't smoke. It can be hard to catch because a lot of these people are asymptomatic. But there are red flags to watch out for, including a persistent cough that won't go away, coughing up blood, and unexplained weight loss. This is not an epidemic of people who get lung cancer who are non-smokers, but it definitely happens. Taking care of yourself, following up with your doctor, you know, those are all good things to do. I'm Mandy Gaither. Finnegan says if you are a smoker, the best thing you can do for your health is quit and to get screened every year with advances in treatment. He says catching the cancer early significantly improves outcomes in patients. Well, the FDA has confiscated more than $18 million worth of unauthorized e-cigarettes. The seizure was the seizure was part of a growing uh, joint operation with the Customs and Border Protection and was conducted at a cargo examination site at LAX. According to the FDA, all of the 1.4 million confiscated units originated from China. They include commonly used brands such as Elf Bar and Funky Republic. The FDA says the items were intentionally mislabeled as toys or shoes and were also listed with incorrect values. The agency says the seized products will be destroyed. Well, the CDC says there's an urgent need to boost vaccination rates amid increasing levels of respiratory disease. The CDC says low vaccination rates coupled with ongoing increases in respiratory disease activity by multiple viruses could lead to more severe disease. And that could put more of a strain on the healthcare system capacity in the coming weeks. Those circulating viruses include influenza, coronavirus and RSV. As for the low vaccine coverage, about 7 million fewer adults have gotten their flu shot so far this season compared to last. Just 70% of adults and 8% of kids have received their latest COVID shot. Only about 16% of older adults aged 60 and up have gotten their new RSV vaccine. Coming up, a new bill from Representative Gina Mosbrucker will look to expand Washington's safe haven law. I'll return with your first alert weather forecast to get you ready for your weekend. That's next on Good Morning Northwest. It's time to light up the season during the Make the Holidays Bright sales event. Choose from a large inventory of Ford vehicles and get special offers on our adventure-ready SUVs or on our great selection of Ford trucks. Make the Holidays Bright at your local Ford dealer. 
The chill of winter has always been warmed by the glow of tradition, which sometimes starts as a simple gift that is then passed from generation to generation. The holiday season gives us just one more reason to find joy in the little things. And as years fly by, we realize the true gift is actually in the time we get to share together. This season, as past gifts turn into today's treasures, here's to creating that one more cherished moment with the ones you love. Yakima Federal Savings and Loan, celebrating tradition since 1905. Whatever the holidays mean to you, get the most out of them in a new Honda. Whether it's dropping off presents in a sporty Civic, or picking up a few for yourself in a fun to drive HRV. Your holiday adventure awaits with a new Honda during Happy Honda Days. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. The buying season never ends at Broadmoor RV Superstore. Make this holiday one to remember with a new motorhome, travel trailer, or fifth wheel. Broadmoor RV continues to close out the 2023s to make room for the 24s. Your destination store in Pasco has the top brands in the industry, including Jayco, Montana Fifth Wheels, Coachman, Northwood, and Outdoors RV. Visit our huge campus and let us help you make memories for a lifetime this holiday season. Broadmoor RV Superstore, family owned and operated in Pasco. Looking for a car with more room for adventure? Make your presence known when you drive away in a new 2024 Kia Sportage LX with all-wheel drive from Overturf Kia. Now $29,999. Plus, get 4.75% interest for up to 48 months. Take delivery today or reserve a car that's on its way. Shop online anytime at OverturfKia.com. Overturf Kia at the base of the Blue Bridge in Kennewick. At U.S. Cellular, anyone can get any phone free. So give yourself a free phone from U.S. Cellular. She's here! Then, give yourself the gift of not checking it. The gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. New and current customers get any phone free. It's time to light up the season during the Make the Holidays Bright sales event. Choose from a large inventory of Ford vehicles and get special offers on our adventure-ready SUVs or on our great selection of Ford trucks. Make the holidays bright at your local Ford dealer. Happy Hanukkah from Apple Valley News Now. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Jason Valentine. Good Friday morning, everyone. Oh, we've made it to the weekend. Hope you have a great weekend planned out. And uh, for some folks, it's the last weekend to get some shopping in. Let's take a look at visibility, and we're still seeing heavy fog in Pendleton. 10% visibility there. 50 to 40% Hermiston, Walla Walla, up to 80% visibility. Tri-Cities, Prosser, and uh, uh, Yakima. So keep an eye out for that fog this morning. We also have a air stagnation advisory. This is good till 10 a.m. on Monday. So all weekend for Kittitas and Yakima County areas. This could expand to other cities. Now, right now we're seeing air quality. We've been talking about it all week. Moderate air quality in Toppenish. Do keep an eye if you suffer from air quality issues. This could be a tough weekend for you. But we do see shower activity next week, which should hopefully break things up. But winds definitely aren't. We are looking at light winds continuing again this morning, and those light winds will continue for the foreseeable future as we don't really see any variance even as we get into winter next Thursday. My goodness, we're less than a week away from winter. So a little bit of cloud coverage, but quite a bit of clear skies out there right now. Uh, a lot of areas don't know it because of the fog, but on our future cast, we do expect to see, look at this, plenty of clear skies. So if that fog breaks over your weekend, we're going to be seeing plenty of clear skies. Should be actually very nice, and that will continue into our Sunday. So uh, that's good for the entirety of our Northwest. So temperatures right now, we are below the freezing mark for parts of the mid-Columbia, Hermiston, Prosser, and the Tri-Cities. Other than that, we're just above the freezing level as we're going to continue to cool down in our morning hours into our weekend. So that also means there's a possibility of freezing fog for our weekend. For our highs, we're going to remain upper 30s, lower 40s for the week ahead as we are just 
right around that average and that will be continuing to be the story. So hey, our winter solstice a week from yesterday, Christmas Day, can it be 10 days away? My goodness, 17 days away until we get to New Year's Day 2024. So let's take a look at our highs today. Lower 40s again across the board. We are right around where we were yesterday or a touch warmer or a touch cooler like we are for the Tri-Cities and Hermiston over in the Blue Mountain region. We're in those upper 30s. Let's get into those uh, seven day forecasts and again, lower 40s, upper 30s and we have some sun breaks expected, but we could be seeing fog and uh, just kind of causing kind of uh, not really close up fog. But if there's just enough fog, like right now, 80% for Yakima, we might not be able to see that sunshine. We do expect to see a little bit of shower activity next week. Uh, looks like especially Tuesday for Yakima. Overnight lows right around or just below that freezing mark. For the Tri-Cities area, fog is expected this weekend. We are going to see highs through the Monday in the mid to upper 30s, lower 40s next week. Showers possibly Tuesday is when we'll see things break up, at least with the fog. Looks at warmer overnight periods also next week. Foggy conditions for Walla Walla, as you would expect. So it looks like Tuesday will be the day for showers, but get ready for air stagnation for at least Kittitas and Yakima counties through Monday morning and plenty of fog throughout many of our regions, especially the blues through at least Monday morning. Law enforcement officers found a 21 year old man from DuPont, Washington dead Monday evening in an apartment on campus at Evergreen State College. The two other Evergreen State students who got sick have been released from the hospital after both of them had signs of potential carbon monoxide poisoning. According to Washington State Patrol, a forensic engineering firm that specializes in carbon monoxide investigations examined the apartments where the students were found. The cause of death still has not been released. Dozens of Evergreen State College students took part in an on-campus vigil Wednesday to remember the man who died, 21-year-old Jonathan Rodriguez. The most outspoken of his friends holds the administration accountable for his death. So many people on this campus have been harmed by mold in the dorm, something going wrong with their dorm. The conditions here are just terrible. The executive vice president of Evergreen State College says their specialists are making arrangements for another round of tests, but the students bought their own carbon monoxide detectors and installed them in their campus homes. The defense for Richard Aguirre, a former Pasco police officer accused of killing a Spokane woman in 1986, has taken over his retrial. Aguirre's attorneys argue that someone other than their client had something to do with Rui Das's murder. We will not be using that person's name since they have not been charged with this crime. Doss was a sex worker whose body was found in a vacant lot in East Spokane. Two former Spokane police officers were called on by the defense as witnesses. Both officers were called to question other sex workers after Doss's death. Those workers said Doss had recently upset another sex worker and her pimp after reporting her to the police. The defense is focused on the pimp. Did you consider a person of interest in this case? Yes. When you turned that information over to the detectives on the case, did you assume that they would follow up? Yes. Another officer's testimony said he had learned the sex worker and her pimp left town shortly after Doss's death. The trial is expected to last through early next week. A new bill headed, uh, headed by Representative Gina Mossbrucker has been pre-filed that would make the process of surrendering, surrendering a child safer for newborns. A safe haven law is already in place in the state of Washington that allows parents who are unable to care for their newborn to relinquish them to hospital workers or firefighters. House Bill 1888 would extend that to safe haven baby boxes, providing a safe temperature controlled environment for the child and will notify someone to get them within 30 seconds. It gives you time to leave and not have to actually hand it to a provider which is why often we hear stories about babies who are found in dumpsters or some other place just because they didn't want to hand it over. They wanted it safe, but they were too worried about liability. 
The bill would provide funding for at least three safe haven baby boxes, one east of the Cascades, another west of the Cascades, and one in central Washington. When we return on Good Morning Northwest, one of the most enduring mysteries of the universe, fast radio bursts, flashes of radio waves in space are getting even stranger. This may look like a holiday shopping showdown, but it's a Nissan sales event to add. Save up to $3,000 on the 2023 Nissan Rogue. Better hurry, these offers won't be back in stock. Is your home in need of a remodel? Then transform your living space with help from Costless Carpet. Have you heard about Costless Carpet's new Rhino SPC? It's changing the flooring industry. Durable, waterproof, with amazing looks that are blowing our customers away. Rhino SPC has 20 and 30 mil wear layers, making it more durable and easy to install. Costless Carpet stocks over 25 different visuals and has wide planked woods and 12 by 24 tile designs too. To find your nearest store, visit costlesscarpet.com. One good round deserves another at Zentel Creek Golf Club in Kennewick. Stay warm inside with state-of-the-art golf simulators or book banquet space for your next family or professional event. Weekends liven up with select live music events throughout the season. Go to ZentelCreek.com to find the list of live music options and make reservations for golf, dinner, drinks, and fun all year round. A little over 10 years ago, my family and I decided to get involved with the Ark of Tri-Cities to work with the kids, to have a good time. We would dance, uh, we would do crafts. But what I didn't know getting involved is uh, how much it would impact me and, and our family's lives. We're blessed to live here and to work with local nonprofits, so it's really important to support those in need. I'm John Inman, and I'm driving change at McCurley. Get financing as low as 0.9% on the new Mazda CX-90 during Season of Inspiration. Pasco Parks and Rec invites you to join in and get involved. They offer a variety of recreational classes and programs for all ages, preschool to adult. There's a class, event, or program to keep you moving. Sign up now for January through April classes. Register, reserve, or inquire today. Join all the special events Pasco Parks and Recreation has to offer. Learn more at PascoParksAndRec.com. Get fit, have fun, do more with Pasco Parks and Rec. Now's the time to get a great deal on select Kubota equipment. Part of the number one rated tractor brand for durability and owner experience in the U.S., they offer the versatility and reliability to get the job done right all year round. Right now at participating dealers, get a Kubota compact tractor for zero down, 0% 0 APR for 84 months, plus save up to $800. Find a Kubota dealer near you at GoKubota.com. This may look like a holiday shopping showdown, but it's a Nissan sales event to add. Save up to $3,000 on the 2023 Nissan Rogue. Better hurry, these offers won't be back in stock. Portions of Apple Valley News Now, sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. Welcome back, everyone. Mysterious radio bursts observed in space just became a little bit stranger. Scientists recently discovered a never-before-seen pattern in a newly spotted repeating fast radio burst, or FRB. Okay, astronomers don't quite understand what causes FRBs, but they say a study published Wednesday in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society, <laughs> I, are you a subscriber to that? I can't say that I am. Uh, provides clues that could identify the phenomenon's source. And the fast radio bursts are bright, millisecond long flashes of radio waves and one of the most enduring mysteries of the cosmos. Mm, the first FRB was discovered in 2007. Since then, hundreds have been detected coming from distant points across the universe. <laughs> Gotta say, I've never really thought about mysterious radio bursts before. Well, maybe it's too fast for us to understand. It's from an advanced civilization sending it out, or maybe it's just natural <laughs> phenomena. Maybe. Don't know. <laughs> Phenomena. Let's take a quick look outside, everyone. We have an interesting Friday ahead. Maybe some sunshine. Depends on where you live. I'll have your forecast coming up next. And coming up on Good Morning Northwest, amid the growing death toll in Gaza, protests calling for a ceasefire have broken out all over the country, including the state of Washington. And faced with public pushback, 
President Biden is calling for Israel to temper its approach in its war with Hamas. In today's Tech Bytes, more details on Google's upcoming privacy protections. Restrictions on third-party cookies will go into effect on Chrome January 4th. The initial rollout will affect 1% of global users, and it's part of Google's Privacy Sandbox initiative. Google is making it easier for users to fix their own phones. The company released a tool that can check your Pixel phone for problems on the device itself. Users can launch the app by dialing a certain number and then run a full diagnostic or specific tests. Google also rolled out redesigned repair manuals. Finally, Threads, Meta's competitor for X, is now available in the European Union. That means nearly half a billion more potential users. To mark the launch, users can browse Threads without needing a profile, but they still require an Instagram account to post content. Those are your Tech Bytes. I'm Rihanna Nally. Have a great day. Huh. How long have you been tracking our car's value with Carvana? Just like seven months. Should we sell it? We hold. Hold. Silver vans are going for more right now. Should we? Hold. Our low mileage is paying off. You think we should? Hold. Depreciation's really heating up. You think? Hold. hold. We just did 2.5%. Hold. Now. I'm on it. I'm on it. Already sold to Carvana. Go to Carvana and track your car's value today. Bye-bye, cough. Later, chest congestion. Hello, 12 hours of relief. 12 hours? Not coughing? Hashtag still not coughing? Mucin XDM gives you 12 hours of relief from chest congestion in any type of cough, day or night. Mucin XDM. <gasps> it's comeback season. Nature's bounty hair growth. Help grow thicker, fuller hair with just one capsule a day of advanced hair complex. Conquer hair thinning. And fall in love with your hair all over again. Only from Nature's Bounty. Last night, over 100 protesters blocked Seattle's University Bridge, calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. Meanwhile, President Biden is urging Israel to practice more restraint in its war against Hamas. And we have more fog and now stagnant air in our areas. I'll get you prepared for a somewhat sunny weekend in my first alert weather forecast. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good morning, Northwest. On your side. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Riley Fitzgerald. I'm Jason Valentine. It's the weekend, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the weekend. Good morning, Riley. Good morning. What's going on? What's going on? Well, it's Friday. We've got a busy weekend ahead. And Good. Just trucking on through December. <laughs> Excellent. My Montana Grizzlies are in the playoffs tomorrow. If they win, they're in the championship game. Exciting. Yes, yes. <laughs> so then if my Huskies win on January 1st, then... The Grizzlies will play in the championship for the FCS on Saturday, and then the Huskies would play for it on Monday. Oh, my goodness. It's crazy town. It's crazy town. Because I'm from so, Missoula. My yeah. dad went to the University of Montana. So <laughs> my dad's the reason I like most of my team. So uh, there you go. we get along. <laughs> Let's take a look outside and get you ready for your Friday. And look outside. It is beautiful for some of our areas, but we're seeing fog in others. Yes, it's a return of zero visibility for Pendleton. We are at half a mile visibility right now. 50% visibility for Walla Walla, 40 in Hermiston, and some hampered visibility, Yakima, Prosser, and Tri-Cities. So keep an eye out for fog. Give yourself some extra time on this Friday morning. We do expect to see some sunshine today, uh, unless the fog does not break. Of course, that's the case for all weekend. If the fog doesn't break, we won't see it. But looking at lower 40s to upper 30s, you've heard me say that all this week and it's just going to continue into next week. Uh, so uh, again, I'm giving you, it is Friday. Uh, this is a different forecast, but it's pretty much the same. As we look ahead, more fog this weekend, most likely. Some sunshine today, hopefully, and air stagnation uh, concerns, especially for Yakima and Ellensburg. I'll get you all of that and uh, look at your weekend. My first alert weather forecast coming up in about 10 minutes. More than 100 protesters calling for a ceasefire in Gaza blocked Seattle's University Bridge on Thursday. Reporter Jake Chapman spoke to several of them as similar protests continue to break out nationwide. What's happening is one of the worst calamities in our lifetime, in my lifetime. Help us with liberation downtown. Help us take 
University Bridge was shut down for hours on Thursday. I-5 North, I-5 South, East, like going East, West, it was shut down everywhere. So were other major bridges across the nation. As the group Jewish Voice for Peace called on state leadership to demand a ceasefire in Gaza. We've been relentless in trying to connect with Murray and her staffers to demand the very, very bare minimum, which is a ceasefire. And they feel like their conversations with leaders like Senator Patty Murray have gone nowhere. Patty Murray, how can you pretend to be a defender of children here around the world and let this happen in our name with our dollars? But for protesters like Kate Raphael, who has lived in Gaza, she says this is about more than stopping the war. I was there as a Jew. Everybody welcomed me into their homes, and I just want them to be able to live freely and with dignity and peace. And as the protests continue, many argue the fight for peace is far from over. This is not the end. We are not going to let business go on as usual when there is a genocide happening in the name of Jewish safety and our elected officials are doing nothing. Our government is funding this. And they hope peace will come soon. Never again for anyone will we let this kind of war happen. President Joe Biden is calling for Israel to enter a lower intensity phase of its war against Hamas, but Israeli officials say they won't stop until the militant group is destroyed. The war between Israel and Hamas has left the Gaza region in shambles. Over the uh, past few days, there's been protests demanding a ceasefire in cities across the U.S. However, the White House isn't calling for Israel to lay down its weapons, but rather be more cautious about residents in the area. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan met with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and other officials Thursday, urging Israel to shift to a more targeted approach in Gaza. A senior U.S. official says that the White House wants Israel to adjust to a lower intensity phase of its war within the next few weeks, potentially by the end of the year. I want them to be focused on how to save civilian lives, not stop going after Hamas, but be more careful. Israel, meanwhile, says it's focused on eliminating Hamas. According to the Hamas-controlled health ministry, more than 18,000 Palestinians were killed and many others injured since the start of the war. The House passed a sweeping defense bill, uh, policy bill Thursday morning. The vote for the National Defense Authorization Act was 301 to 118. The Senate passed the bill Wednesday. The final version of the $886 billion National Defense Funding Plan for 2024 includes a 5.2 percent pay raise for members of the military. That's the largest raise for service members in more than two decades. The bill also includes a short-term extension of a controversial law that permits warrantless surveillance of foreign nationals. However, it does not include provisions related to abortion and transgender health care access, both of which were in the House Defense Policy Bill that was passed this summer. The measure will be next sent to President Joe Biden to be signed into law. Jason Valentine returns now with a look at your weather forecast. Folks, let me get you ready for, oh my goodness, the weekend is here. We have some fog, air stagnation, sunshine. A lot to talk about, folks, in my first alert weather forecast that's coming up. And an Atlanta woman has pleaded guilty to stealing more than $4 million from Facebook while she was an executive at the company. How she managed to do it, coming up next. Roundups, like an accidental savings account. But how much can you really save? Yeah, I mean... Whoa. <laughs> Have you ever had a day like this? Bad days are why we got in the game. Capuza Lighty, Accident Injury Lawyers. 
At Mattress Depot USA, we believe everyone is entitled to a good night's sleep, regardless of their credit situation. That's why we're approving everyone for up to $1,200 towards the purchase of a new mattress with no credit needed. You spend a third of your life in bed, and a comfortable mattress is essential for providing quality of life. $3,000 credit, 100 days same as cash with no credit needed, only at Mattress Depot USA. Low prices every day. Mattress Depot, USA. A successful real estate transaction requires a team of professionals. At Windermere, our team consists of experienced realtors to guide you through the process. With Windermere on your side and end confidence in your real estate journey. My darling granddaughter, this camera was given to me when I was your age. May it capture your big, beautiful life the way it did mine. It's so surprising what the little things can do. Wouldn't it be wonderful if everybody Oh, Merry Christmas, Grandma. Before the tree was trimmed, before the stockings were hung, and yes, even before Thanksgiving, it was already home. At McCurley, we know it's the people, traditions, and memories that make this season bright. And that's why we're here, because a vehicle is more than just a vehicle. It's also one of the ways you bring the holidays home. Find your way home in a new, used, or certified pre-owned vehicle from McCurley Chevrolet. The White Card, a powerful resource for former Hanford and DOE employees. If you worked in the area and have come down with cancer, lung disease, Parkinson's, or renal failure, you may be eligible for financial compensation and health care services. A simple phone call can get the process started. Atomic Home Health. Don't wait. Call today. Roundups like an accidental savings account. I get paid every time I buy something. It's like a bonus for me. Portions of Apple Valley News Now, sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. Welcome back, everyone, on this Friday morning. Well, an Atlanta woman and former Facebook employee has pleaded guilty to stealing more than $4 million while she was an executive at the company. Starting in 2017 through 2021, Barbara Furlow Smiles worked as a lead strategist at Facebook, not known as, uh, now known as Meta. According to the U.S. Attorney for the Northern District of Georgia, Furlow Smiles fraudulently used uh, Facebook funds to live a lavish lifestyle in California and Georgia. The money was used on things like hairstylists, babysitters, and $18,000 went towards preschool tuition. Furlow Smiles would link her company credit card to PayPal, Venmo, and Cash App, then use those cards to pay others for services never performed. The scheme also included associates, family, and friends. Her sentencing is scheduled for March 19th. Coming up, there are snowy weather and hazardous driving conditions in many parts of the country. But there are plenty of things you can do right now to get your ready uh, car ready for the upcoming winter weather. And I'll return with your first alert forecast. Not looking like snow in the forecast, even for Christmas. I'm sorry, Riley, but I got your first alert weather forecast getting you ready for your weekend coming up next. Season's greetings from everyone at Apple Valley News Now. It's our annual year-end inventory closeout sale at Mattress Depot USA. This is your best opportunity of the year to save hundreds. Low prices every day. Mattress Depot USA. A successful real estate transaction requires a team of professionals. At Windermere, our team consists of experienced realtors to guide you through the process. With Windermere on your side, and end confidence in your real estate journey. Ben Franklin Transit is hiring safety-oriented coach operators. Become a crucial part of the Tri-Cities community and provide a vital service to our riders. Get out from behind a desk and experience a workday that keeps you moving. Enjoy CDL training, comprehensive benefits, and generous paid time off. When you're driving for Ben Franklin Transit, you're part of a growing team of community-oriented professionals. 
Apply now to join the Ben Franklin Transit team. Before the tree was trimmed. Before the stockings were hung. Before the meals were prepared. And yes, even before Thanksgiving. Before the carols, bells, and lights all aglow, it was already home. At McCurley, we know it's the people, traditions, and memories that make this season bright. And that's why we're here. Because a vehicle is more than just a vehicle. It's also one of the ways you bring the holidays home. Find your way home in a new, used, or certified pre-owned vehicle from McCurley Subaru during the 2023 Subaru Share the Love event. The holidays are here, and Honey Baked Ham has exactly what your holiday gathering needs. Whole turkeys fully cooked and perfectly seasoned, just heat and serve. Turkey breasts, deliciously smoked or oven roasted. Or our famous slow-cooked spiral-cut hams, hand-glazed and caramelized to perfection. Complete your feast with one of our incredible sides and delicious desserts. So many choices! Honey Baked Ham on Columbia Center Boulevard in the Planet Fitness Shopping Center. Or call 509-579-5855. Put Honey Baked Ham on your table this year. Before it went through decades of design work, your mattress started with the most important detail of all, our name. Stearns & Foster, uncover exceptional. Mattress Depot USA. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Jason Valentine. Friday morning, everyone. Hope you're enjoying it so far and hope you have a great weekend planned. Folks, we're looking pretty clear for the Tri-Cities right now. Other areas, though, again, the return of 0% visibility for Pendleton. About a half a mile visibility there. 50% visibility for Walla Walla, 40 for Hermiston, and some patchy fog. Tri-Cities Prosser in uh, Yakima. Uh, give yourself some extra time this morning if you run into it, especially in the Pendleton area. We also have an air stagnation advisory till 10 a.m. on Monday for Kittitas in the Yakima Valley areas. So uh, we've been waiting for some uh, air quality issues with all the lack of wind, and we're finally seeing it. Also, we're seeing moderate air quality for Yakima and Toppenish. This could get worse before it gets better. We do expect some shower activity next week. That could break all of this up, but uh, we're going to have to wait until then. So wind speeds right now, they are light. They're going to continue to be light as we move into uh, really the next couple of days. If not for the week ahead, we just don't see any jailbreaks for our wind, including as we get to winter next Thursday evening. So right now, a little bit of cloud coverage out there, but we have uh, quite a lot of clear skies and we're going to be seeing clear skies. Uh, the name of the game for the next couple of days. Just the only question is how thick will the fog get with all of this air stagnation, light winds and such. So if the fog does lift, you will see sunshine through Sunday, but it depends on well whether we see that fog lift. So right now we are below the freezing mark. Tri-Cities, Prosser and Hermiston. Other than that, we're just above it. Even warmer, uh, warm spot Yakima uh, by quite a bit at 39. Our highs for today. We're going to remain in the upper 30s to lower 40s. This is for the Tri-Cities, but most of our cities, again, are going to be sticking right around this. We're not seeing much of a variance in uh, temperatures. So look at this. Winter solstice, six days away. Christmas Day, 10 days away. Single digits starting tomorrow. 2024, 17 days away. So for today, our highs, lower 40s <laughs> or upper 30s. And that's going to be holding true for the next couple of days, if not for the week ahead. And uh, again, similar conditions to what we've been seeing. Some fog along the blues and again, some sunshine expected today if the uh, fog uh, lets go. So highs for Yakima, lower 40s, upper 30s for the week ahead. And we are going to see some sunshine today and for your weekend. Again, just depends on that fog and again, air stagnation. So if you're uh, if you have some health issues due to the air quality, do take note. Overnight lows below or at the freezing mark. Looks like our overnights will warm up a bit in our next work week. And again, that looks like that Tuesday shower activity could definitely help us out. And quite a lot of fog expected for 
the mid-Columbia and for the Blue Mountain region for your weekend. So hopefully this shower activity breaks up our wind conditions, our air quality conditions, and our fog conditions. And as we move into the winter solstice next week, again, temperatures staying lower 40s, <laughs> upper 30s. For your day today, though, if that fog breaks for your area, you'll see some sunshine, and that will continue into your weekend. In many parts of the country, snowy weather and hazardous driving conditions are on the way very soon. There are a lot of things drivers can do now to get their cars ready for the coming winter. ABC's Morgan Norwood reports. When the weather outside is frightful, the frigid temps and brutal snow can put your car's performance to the test. Experts say it's time to winterize and prepare your vehicle for the season. You want to make sure your car is in good shape before the temperature starts dropping, because if you wait too long, then it will be too late. First, consider changing your tires. The people that live in the snowy climates uh, often buy dedicated snow tires, which have a very aggressive and deep groove to their tread design, and those usually need to be taken off in the springtime because snow tires are great when there's all kinds of snow and ice on the ground. Be sure your battery is in good shape too. As the temperature drops, there's much more demands placed on the battery to get your engine cranking over. But when it gets colder, your, your battery has to work a lot harder to get the car going. If you're living where it's warm, you really should get your battery load tested every two years. But you can extend that to about every four years if you live where it's cold. Quality windshield wipers make a huge difference, especially in heavy snow. You can get windshield wipers that are specifically dedicated to help clearing the ice and snow off of your windshield. Again, you don't want to wait till it's too late to replace these. And certainly everyone who owns a car should replace their windshield wipers at least once or twice a year. It's also wise to ensure your defroster is working correctly and that your car is stocked with other essentials. You never know when you, you might get stranded, so it's good to have on hand a snow shovel, a tow rope, an extra pair of gloves, a hat, something to eat, something to drink, and certainly make sure your cell phone battery is fully charged. But before you make a decision to drive in treacherous snowy conditions, really ask yourself if the trip is absolutely necessary, because if it isn't, the safest route is just to stay home. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, New York. When we come back, it was one of the most anticipated introductions in sports history as the Los Angeles Dodgers welcomed baseball player Shohei Otani after the Japanese superstar signed an unprecedented $700 million contract. Ben Franklin Transit is hiring safety-oriented coach operators. Become a crucial part of the Tri-Cities community and provide a vital service to our riders. Get out from behind a desk and experience a workday that keeps you moving. Enjoy CDL training, comprehensive benefits, and generous paid time off. When you're driving for Ben Franklin Transit, you're part of a growing team of community-oriented professionals. Apply now to join the Ben Franklin Transit team. The year-end sales event is on at Spec Buick GMC. We have the largest selection of trucks with the biggest deals of the year. Get up to $9,500 off MSRP on the 24 Sierra 1500 Proof, plus no payments for 90 days. Or drive home the third row seat Acadia or Buick Enclave and get 1.9% APR for 36 months. We've got almost 500 new and used vehicles to choose from. Come see us today on Pasco or online at specbuickgmc.com. Spec Buick GMC, a family automotive tradition since 1912. I left home at 14 and I had my first child at 17. I was an addict, so, and that destroys your whole world. I actually just kind of walked into Goodwill and they trained me. Yeah, Goodwill doesn't look at you as a person with barriers. I love my job. Goodwill's more than just a thrift store. But I have a future and so does my community because of the programs Goodwill offers. I kind of look in the mirror and I'm happy with who I see every day. Shop Goodwill, changing lives through the power of work. A little over 10 years ago, my family and I decided to get involved with the Ark of Tri-Cities, a fantastic local nonprofit that serves kids and adults with developmental disabilities to work with the kids and have a good time. We would dance, uh, we would do crafts, we'd always feed them uh, some kind of really healthy meal like pizza. But what I didn't know getting involved is uh, how much it would impact me and, and our family's lives. Really getting an opportunity to, to meet these young people that love unconditionally, to be in a relationship with somebody like that has been life changing for us. We're blessed to live here and to work with local nonprofits. So for us, it's 
really important to get involved, to volunteer, to create a place where everybody's included, support those in need. I'm John Inman, and I'm driving change at McCurley. See all our new vehicle specials, like on the new Mazda CX-90 at McCurleyMazda.com during the season of inspiration. Is your furnace worn out and a bit ugly? Apple Valley News Now and Jacobs and Rhodes present the Ugly Furnace Contest, your chance to win a brand new gas furnace. To enter, click on contests at applevalleynewsnow.com and follow the instructions. Everyone who enters gets a free system inspection. One second prize winner gets a two-year membership in the Jacob and Rhodes Maintenance Club. And the grand prize winner gets the new gas furnace, including expert installation by Jacobs and Rhodes. The Ugly Furnace Contest from Jacobs and Rhodes and Apple Valley News Now. Seasonal Affective Disorder Month, sponsored by Prosser Memorial Health. Welcome back, everyone. Let's take a look closer to home. And uh, we're looking all right this morning. We do have a lot of clear skies out there. You're going to see some starshine unless you are being, well, bedeviled by that fog. So uh, good uh, Friday morning. Welcome to the weekend. Let's take a look at what we can expect for your day. Highs are going to be in the lower 40s to upper uh, 30s for all of our areas. Again, looking pretty nice uh, today in uh, Ellensburg. Again, we have that air stagnation advisory for Ellensburg and the Yakima Valley areas through Monday morning. Um, so just get ready for not the best of air quality. As we move over into the mid Columbia, maybe a little bit more cloud coverage in our afternoon. We'll see more sun in the morning unless that sun, uh, unless that fog doesn't break. And we do have thick fog, especially in Pendleton. Boardman hanging tough at 40, our cool spots, kind of a cluster there. Tushi, <laughs> Walla Walla, and Milton Freewater. I'll be your first alert weather forecast coming right up. Well, more than two dozen people have worn the number 17 with the Dodgers, but all of them didn't make as much money combined as the new guy who will wear it. Yeah, not many people have. Shohei Otani met with the media yesterday to explain his move from Anaheim to Los Angeles. Here's ABC's Andrew Dimbert. It was one of the most anticipated introductions in sports history. The Dodgers welcoming superstar Shohei Otani in English and his native Japanese, wearing the iconic Dodgers uniform for the first time after signing an unprecedented $700 million contract. <laughs> the two-time MVP says his decision was not about the money, telling reporters when the Dodgers look back at the last 10 years, even though they made the playoffs every year and won a World Series ring, they considered that a failure. When I heard that, I knew they were all about winning, and that's exactly how I feel. Otani, who is noted for being both a great hitter and pitcher, played for the Los Angeles Angels for six years, but never reached the playoffs. Now, both he and Dodgers fans have high expectations. Hopefully with the signing, you know, we actually are able to win the World Series and, you know, we've been, we've been getting very far in the regular season, but not far enough. Otani's $700 million contract is the biggest in sports history, but the three-time All-Star won't be seeing most of that money for a full decade. Between now and 2033, the Dodgers will pay Otani a total of $20 million. The Dodgers are deferring the remaining $680 million until 2034, when Otani will get yearly $68 million installments until 2043. ESPN reports the unusual structure was Otani's idea and will give the Dodgers enough salary space to sign other players. All that for a player who won't pitch until 2025 after undergoing an arm surgery back in September. Otani dodged questions about the exact nature of the surgery, but he did answer this question. What is the name of your dog? So his name is Dekoping. I figured um, it would be hard for American people to pronounce it, so he has an American name and it's Decoy. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York. And in addition to his record contract, Otani earns an estimated $40 million a year from endorsements. So even though he won't be getting most of that until much later. He's right. doing just fine. Oh, he's doing just <laughs> fine. Major League Baseball does need to step in. Um, mm -hmm. You know what makes the NFL work as well as it does is oh. they have a salary cap and every team has to follow it. So everybody from the Arizona Cardinals can win to the Seattle Seahawks to even the Dallas Cowboys. It just depends on how good they're able to utilize.